What's up guys and welcome back to Gabe Miller Music. Today I'm going to be making a melodic dubstep meets new disco type banger on the Korg Electribe 2, the synth version. I'm going to be making a drop entirely from scratch and showing you the process. So to start things off, just got an initialized pattern here. So I'm gonna hit shift and go to my tempo. That's a bit slow. And while I'm at it, let's go ahead and switch out the kick. Same with the snare. This is by far my favorite snare sample in this entire thing. It's so freaking punchy. So the other thing I wanna do is extend the pattern length to four bars. Let's record the snare. So I've got my super basic backing beat. I will come back to that. And right now I want to start to get a lead going. So I've already got a pretty solid idea of the lead part and the vibe I'm going for. So now it's gonna be a case of actually making it. Let's actually go ahead and design a sound. I'm going for something that can really cut through a dense mix. That cuts through a bit too much. I like where that's going. And actually, let's change this to mono two. So it re-triggers every time you hit the note. Maybe try some kind of effect. Ooh. All right. That adds kind of the bit of movement that that part was missing. Does sound a bit harsh on its own, but bear in mind that this will end up kind of floating over the top of the entire mix. And also I'll probably process it a bit in post, some kind of reverbs and whatnot. So let's actually try to record this part in. I like that as it is, so let's try to build on some chords. And I'm gonna take advantage of a feature that so far has been pretty underutilized by me, which is their kind of auto chord feature. I was playing around with this a bit earlier as well, and it's capable of some pretty cool stuff. So, woo, let's try to get a super saw sound going. Why is that so loud? Okay. And I kind of want to change. I was liking this chord set earlier. So I want these kind of pumping super saw chords. So I'm actually going to initiate the pumper and I'll end up turning that off when I take this into post. But for now, this will be a good reference. a cool vibe so what I was thinking might be cool is to take another super saw of some sort and pan the two elements left and right to get some stereo width out of this so it's got to be something different enough That ought to work. Get pumper going on this as well. Once again, for reference. And let's record the same part, but with a different synth. Nice. So what I can actually do then is use the built-in pan. really feeling that. So moving on, I had this idea to make use of uh, the modulation to do this kind of, not quite an ARP, but an ARP-like element. So the idea is to... 
get kind of a pew pew effect. That's getting closer. I think that's too much. The speed's right. That sounds about right in terms of pitch. Maybe try to add some kind of effect. Bass on that's a bit much. <laughs> I know this is a bit of a weird element, but I think layered with everything else, I think it could be really cool. So let's try and record that. Add this nice kind of layer of sparkle to the beat, which I think is kind of dope. So moving on, what I really need in life is a really stupidly heavy bass. This will basically just follow the chords. Just something to hold down the low end, provide some grit. I should set this to be mono as well. And Some distortion. So that really filled the beat out nicely. So the final thing I want to add some fills. So let's let me bit crush this. Oh, there we go. So that fill's already baked into it because of the snare. So the other fill that I want is the classic 80s tom. So let's record that in. And then it might be cool to have some kind of, ow, symbol, just to add some kind of extra energy. So just sequence you in. Oh, and then actually what might be cool is having it kind of skip whenever there's a little break for those little fills. I'll go ahead and export all these tracks and bring them into my DAW, do some EQ, uh, sidechain compression, probably add a good bit of reverb and you can hear the final result of that right now. Alright, that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to check out the Korg Elect Tribe for yourself, you can click or tap the link in the description. And if you'd like to see another video where I've made beats from scratch with the Korg Elect Tribe, you can click or tap up over here. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll be back with a new video in a little bit.